backing in was difficult. Is this legal? <sighs> I really hope we don't get lost in here. Woo! Good morning, guys. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Arches National Park. Yeah, we were so lucky. We got a campsite here in Devil's Garden Campground in the actual national park. It's very competitive, and there's only like, I don't even know how many sites, but very little sites. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is a little bit tighter of a campground. We're probably the biggest rig in this whole campground here right now. And then our campsite actually has a tree overgrown into the parking site. So yeah. it was a bit of a tricky back in, but at least over this last bit of travel, I've gotten a lot better at the trailer. Alicia's become a master at giving directions and we managed to figure it out. But the tree's like in half of our site to pull in. And then the picnic table's on the other side. So a little bit weird of a layout, but we made it work. Yeah, backing in was difficult, but we managed to do it luckily. So. Yeah, pretty quick too, right, Chloe? Yeah. Chloe has had a big nap day here. She did a whole bunch of sleeping, so she's supposed to stay up till technically nine o'clock, our sleep app says. So what the heck? we're gonna catch a golden hour little sunset walk here. We're gonna check out one of the trails. A few Yay! of the trails to the arches are located right in the campground itself. So fortunate for us, hey Chloe. And Alicia wants to wear the backpack because she wants to be the cool one this time. So we're gonna get our hike on here. Let's go. So we're going for a quick walk here to see Tapestry Arch. The trailhead is literally right across from our campground basically. We're site 36. I believe there's only a little over 50 campsites in total here. So it's super cool to get here and stay by yourself. When we checked in, we were in a lineup for half an hour and then they diverted us down a side road to check in. And if we didn't get diverted and had the express route, it would have taken another 15 minutes at least I bet. So 45 minutes of lineup mostly just day use cars coming in because Arches is just so popular. Coming from Canada and then being down here, seeing all these red rocks, the giant LaSalle mountain range over Colorado way there, and just all of this to enjoy. And we can just go back to our campsite right here. This is so nice. Man, it's not too often, well, where we're from at least, that you hike in sand. This is crazy and it's so soft. I'm wearing my sandals and <laughs> the sand is getting on my feet and it feels so soft. The sand is like so fine and I guess it's from all the sandstone rocks that are around here. So it's a pretty unique experience. Like like I said, there's nothing like this from where we're from. <laughs> Chloe loves it too. <laughs> all right, we're heading left to Tapestry Arch. Okay, so we just found Tapestry Arch there, and it was like a 10 minute walk from our site, if that. No one's even out here. It's beautiful walking through all the high desert. It's an elevation of like 5,000 feet out here. We've even seen a little bit of cactus, so that's kind of fun for me. But Tapestry Arch was cool. We also checked out the windows today. We saw a double arch, and we saw a turret arch. We basically took an easy day today after checking in, but we wanted to get up for a little bit of a drive around. So we saw a few things and this whole park is so cool. The Devil's Garden Campground we're staying at itself is almost a half an hour drive, I would say, from where you check in with the visitor info center. So all the way through there, there's all these different parking lots for different arches, different panoramic viewpoints of the LaSalle mountain range, the salt flat area. 
and there's just so much to do here. Like, you gotta pick what you wanna do when you come because there's tons of opportunity to see things. Is this legal? <laughs> Whoa! You like that? Okay, enough horsing around, Chloe. Let's go see Broken Arch. I was just saying how it's a little hard to know what's a trail and what's not because it's all sand. And we got to this spot and now it's all rock, so we have no idea which way to go, but I think we're gonna go up because there's no other way to go. There's these little, what do you call them, Karens? Karen? Karen, Karen? C-A-I-R-N-S. <laughs> they look like little Anukshuks, but they obviously are supposed to mark the trail and I see something way up there, so. Maybe we do go up the rocks. Wish us luck. Four by four. So those little stone fellows did actually lead us up the rocks and back to our path. So we're back on the right track towards the arch here. And again, just loving it out here. It's so nice. There's not a soul out here but us. Compared to where we were earlier today with all the regular just like day visitors and how busy those spots were, we read that Arches gets 1.5 million visitors a year. Now that could be like pre-pandemic and everything, but still like, this is an iconic walk around here. Red dirt rocks, we're climbing up and down things. We're surrounded by all this beauty, cacti, view of the mountain ranges, there's like mesas off in the distance, and we have it all to ourselves here, right at golden hour. Man, if you ever get a chance that you're coming up this way, book in advance for Devil's Arch Campground. We're gonna talk more about booking it later and how you can get a good camp set like we did, but it is phenomenal. We found the arch. Whoa! I don't really know why it's called Broken Arch. It looks pretty intact to me. It's like spectacular. You can see the hills through the arch even, which is so cool. And usually, I mean, like we've said, at all the different arch viewpoints and stuff, there's always people there taking pictures. It's always like crammed full of people and we're the only people here. That sign even says that the trail continues through the arch. This is amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, you can see the snow-capped LaSalle mountain range over there. We meant to look into this still, but I think that might be where you turn into Colorado as you cross the border over that way. Unfortunately, on this 100-day USA road trip we're in the middle of, Colorado didn't quite make it. We have a whole lot of things to see still with the Mighty Five all here and a whole bunch of other good things coming up as well, but Colorado is high on our priority list. Mesa Verde sounded phenomenal. And from here, you can even see all of these beautiful mesas down the canyon that way. And there's a spot over there that even looks like Pride Rock. I swear that must have been where Lion King was based off of. This is just phenomenal here. And again, the arch, this awesome canyon we hiked down, winding through it, all to ourselves. Nobody else is out here. <laughs> Except for that guy. <laughs> Dangerous, be very careful. It is, but worth noting all of this sandstone has like a sandpaper gritty consistency, so fun to climb on and play on at least. Still be careful. Whoa! Not funny. <laughs> This is pretty neat. We're walking in between rocks, through a canyon, back to the campground. It's like, what? This is amazing. Are you touching the rocks? 
Nice rock. Again, there's no real path, but just a whole bunch of rocks, so we're keeping an eye out for those rock piles. I really hope we don't get lost in here. Little rock pile here, someone's left for us. Climb over this. And then again, a little rock pile here, pile here, and there's one up in this crevice. So we're navigating our way through this canyon here, but at times you just walk in the dirt and then you walk over these giant round rocks and you gotta find where the trail picks up but luckily little rock cairns lead the way maybe not exactly baby friendly oh it's easy peasy <laughs> just put her in four by four <sighs> can almost see my house from here. Okay. So we promised we were gonna talk about the secret to how we got such a nice campsite. We were reached out to by an app called CampNap. We had heard of it before, Alicia's family uses it, and we were looking into using it, and then they actually reached out to us and offered us to let us use it for free. So we've been using that, and basically what it is is an app where you can put in which campground you wanna to go to, be it Canada, USA, National Park, State Park, Provincial Park. You put it in, you put in the date you wanna go there, and then it runs a refresh on that, looking for people who have canceled their campsites. And if someone cancels, and then it does its refresh based on certain time limits, but it will let you know when someone is canceled and if there's an availability, and then it can send you a text message to your phone. So you could be sitting at work, maybe you're in the office or out working, your phone can ping and you can be like, oh, hey, look at that. Someone canceled Arches National Park. Quickly click on the link, it'll take you right to the booking page. You can book it for the dates you need, and boom, you just got an amazing park. Also, of course, with notifications on your phone, you can change the noise, but Alicia has her phone set to a crow noise instead of a text message noise. So whenever the crow starts cacawing, we know that we've got a campground coming up for one of our parameters we had searched for. It is so handy that if you're a little behind the ball on booking your sites like we were on this trip, that if anyone cancels, you can always adjust. We've managed to book a good share of all of our national parks on this trip through it. A lot of the competitive sites, Dead Horse Point State Park we'll be going to soon as well. We got through Camp Nab. So a big thank you to Camp Nab and everyone working on Camp Nab there and working with us and allowing us to use your app and test it out because we've been loving it and it's been absolutely instrumental in planning our USA trip here and seeing some of the key sites we've seen. So if you're interested, feel free to check that out. It's definitely helped us a lot on this 100 day USA RV travel trip kind of thing we're doing. And otherwise we'll see you in the next RV vlog when we keep enjoying Arches National Park we got some good things to check out here and we're really excited to see it more. So until next video everyone, have a great night and take care out there. Later friends.